Well, I've been playing with this Apple TV for quite some time now. And my newest thing is I've been able to unlock the USB connection on the back of it. It's not my doing at all. It's basically an install from Neato TV, which is very nice to have. So right now I've got this thing hooked up. I've got a USB DVD player. Now you're probably wondering why the hell would I want a DVD player hooked up to an Apple TV? What's the purpose? Well, the DVD player I've got underneath the our uh, cable box is a Sony. It's a piece of junk. I mean, it works for the most part, but it doesn't play anything that isn't basically from a DVD manufacturer, meaning if I burn a DVD, it will not play it whatsoever. So, I decided to try the Apple TV and see what it could do, and this is where I'm at now. So, let's get uh, gone in 60 seconds. Let's get that going. So, I basically plugged it in. I didn't have to do anything special. I didn't have to boot up with the DVD plugged in. I basically plugged it in while it was running. And I'm waiting. Okay, so if we go here to files, you can see there's gone in 60 seconds. And I have the option to watch the movie or actually import the DVD. So let's try this. Do not copy this DVD. Congratulations. So, for all intensive purposes, it is playing just fine. If I hit the menu button, it's going to take me to the menu. This is just the DVD menu. So far I haven't run into any issues. So one thing I have noticed with this is that when I hit play, My surround sound does not go into full surround sound mode, which for me, that's somewhat okay. I mean, I, I don't really, I can't say that I would be completely lost without full surround sound, depending on the movie. I mean, generally, if I have a DVD, the only time I'm really going to watch a DVD is if it's like a rented DVD or somebody brings a DVD over and I need to watch it. This is basically just a haggard setup for whenever I need to watch a DVD. And lately that's been getting a lot slimmer since the advent of the internet, obviously. From iTunes rentals to purchasing movies on iTunes and zipping them over. So that's basically what I've been working on. Um, I've also been working on getting high quality videos on this thing and another thing I've been working on is I have a, I've been able to get my Hoppage uh, USB TV tuner to work on this. Um, if you go to Neato TV applications I have ITV running on this. Now ITV runs but it does have some bugs. It cannot handle it can't really handle over-the-air HD because HD requires a very hefty CPU. Uh, even my MacBook with its 2 gigahertz chip tends to run at 100% or close to it. So this thing's going to drop some frames and it's not going to be pretty. But it can do standard definition just fine. So there is also the problem of the remote. It seems that ITV can't get access to the remote function of the Apple TV. So that means 
you're stuck without a remote until I figure out a hack to get it to work because so far it's kind of spotty. People have said that the remote works, some people have said it doesn't work, and I'm one of the people that can't get the remote to work. I haven't tried too many versions of ITV because there are certain ones, for the most part, Apple TV, the Apple TV OS is Tiger. So you can't go past a certain version number of app or of ITV because that's when they added Tiger support. So you have to fool around and try to get it. And also, the OS that runs on the Apple TV is not fully updated. It's not 10.4.11. So certain versions of ITV require components that are in 10.4.11, and it complains. USB keyboard and mouse works just fine. A USB hard drive I have yet to test. I assume it would work fine as long as it's formatted in a uh, OS 10, you know, OS 10 format. You might be able to get uh, NTFS 3G installed on here. I've not tried it. I have no reason to use NTFS. So that's just another uh, caveat that I haven't gone down. So. I just wanted to do a quick video updating on stupid clock. Come on. Okay. So I just wanted to do a quick video demonstrating what I've been working on. Um, a lot of people are probably thinking, why the hell would I spend all this time trying to get the same function of a of a Mac Mini? out of my Apple TV like it just doesn't make sense and and yes I mean I agree with you <laughs> I would much rather have spent the time not having to do all this and just get in get a Mac mini and hook it up but you know I like to tinker so this is my this has been my ongoing project so I've just been screwing around with it trying to you know get the most out of it so that's basically it and thanks for watching